Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a server review on Versed MC. Uh, thank you to whoever suggested I come on the server, very appreciated. I don't know if it was the owner or anyone else. Uh, real quick before we get started, because I know a lot of you are 5M watchers and stuff, we have a new 5M video coming out very soon. Get ready for that coming soon. But anyway, today we're doing a server review. Uh, first thing I would say is I kind of glitched a little bit when I jumped into this fire here. You can see I'm kind of glitching on top of here, and I believe that may be a protocol... Uh, like system or something, maybe protocol, um, version or whatever they call those things to allow multi via version and all this. I would check that to see maybe there's a setting that could prevent players from getting stuck like this because that's kind of, um, kind of interesting. Uh, this server uses two modes. Uh, the difference is passes if you keep your inventory on death and hardcore is I guess you lose your inventory. Um, your scoreboard seems a little bit broken on my screen. Maybe it's the version of Minecraft I'm playing on since I am playing on 1.8. But, um, obviously it's, uh, it's everything's cut off. So I'd make sure you check whatever scoreboard plugin you're using for 1.8. Um, or if you don't support 1.8, like, this is something that I brought up in the last video, on the video where I did a server review earlier this week. If you are running a newer version of Minecraft, and I can actually check your version because you do block those commands, um, what I would do is I would for sure not allow previous versions to join. If you are running a 1.16 server, do not allow 1.8 clients. Only allow versions from your version up. Uh, the reason I say this is because it prevents a lot of issues. If you're running a 1.8 server, you can run up to 1.16.3 perfectly fine without that many issues. But if you're running a 1.16 server and trying to get 1.8 clients on, you're going to have a lot of problems. So I would look into that. Uh, how to claim land. So this is like the default claim land book. What I recommend doing for every server who uses claim land stuff is make it in like a slash help menu. And I would also make sure you have a slash help menu rather than just these like books that you can only use once and stuff. Because uh, normally I would recommend always having a GUI or a chat help message. And this is for sure a uh, protocol or ver via version issue where you can't walk on lily pads on different versions and stuff. So I would really look into that. So that would be the same issue that you're having over with the fire as well. Uh, server guide. Oh, maybe you do have a guide. Um, your hologram does disappear and I can't actually click this user, so I would check your user settings there. Uh, cosmetic crates. So you got mythical treasure and everything. I guess I could do just slash cosmetics. Yes. Okay. So you use alter, it's not ultra cosmetics, pro cosmetics, I believe. Yes, you do. Uh, I recognize the plugin anyway. So that is pro cosmetics. So great job with that. Um, in terms of crates, this is something I say every single time that I am on a server. Do not bounce people back with crates because you can glitch places, you can get on top of places. So I would really recommend disabling the bounce back on your crates just to make sure you don't bounce people back. And I would also make sure you can't sit on these uh, slabs at spawn. You can probably make that so you can sit at them in their own bases or in their own claim land, but don't make them let them sit at uh, spawn. Um, in terms of here, you got your top job levels. The only thing I would say is the green text is very, the green and yellow is very hard to see. So I'd really recommend looking into that. Um, Hunger Games, game stats. So maybe put like a hologram here using HD displays or something. Um, in terms of your spawn, I'm guessing this is like survival slash towny. Uh, so I would recommend, yeah, none of your NPCs seem to... Uh, be like I'm right-clicking and stuff. None of them seem to be opening a GUI So I'd really recommend looking into that making sure your NPCs actually open GUIs Maybe it's a version issue because I'm on a uh, 1.8. I don't know stuff like that would be really good to test All right, so in terms of other stuff you got these cool NPCs around here Which are great. The only thing I would say is I do see your action bar messages Which is like the health of the player down here or the thing you're targeting. That's really really cool um, but I would really recommend, really, really, really recommend making sure your server works on all versions. Because I believe this is a version issue from everything I've been experiencing so far. So I'd really look into that. Also on your tab list, you have, um, like, extra spaces after the player's name. I would fix that. And um, I just randomly gained some money. So I would recommend checking into that as well. So I can't click any of these quests and PCs. So I would really look into that. Um, in terms of what's on your tab list and stuff, it's very clean, very nice, so keep up the good work with that. Uh, same thing with these sitting here, um, just fix those types of things. I saw that boss bar for half a second, maybe expand the time you have your boss bars up. Um, overall, it seems like it's still a really, really well-built server. It's just those few cosmetic things and version things that really make it um, a little bit harder to get in and play as a new player. Your builds are really, really cool, so keep up the good work with your build. I don't think I could actually break any of these. Uh, no. Okay, so I can't break blocks here. Get rid of this break block message here as well. Uh, you can do that with a world guard flag. I believe it's called message. Someone in the description, someone in the comments will probably mention it. Um, in terms of your announcements, very nice, clear. You can see it very well, so that's 
that's really cool. Um, but overall, it seems like it's good. Like, uh, server. Is there warps? There's warp shop. Let's go warp shop. Uh, shop. All right, same thing I would say on every server. Make any teleports coming from inside of spawn instant. That is very, 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 very much required. Um, shop buy. So this is literally your shop is... These are nothing yet. It's just these few items. So what I would actually recommend doing, so you don't have to build all these out. So what I would recommend doing is making this all a GUI. So you don't actually have to build it all, and it's a lot easier to um, set up shops for players. They don't have to go to spawn, stuff like that. Also, if I'm jumping down here, I do not want to hit my head, so please make that ceiling a little bit taller up, because a lot of players will be sprint jumping like this, and um, it, it does make it faster for players, but if you hit your head, it just makes it slower. So I'm guessing this is your rank. Yes, so these are your ranks. One thing I would say about ranks is you cannot give them a game playing advantage compared to other ranks. So I'd highly recommend reading the Minecraft rules in terms of that and um, getting that all set up. Also, this text is impossible to read off of these blocks or just default Minecraft. So change the little sign text there from gray to something else. Um, but yeah, so make sure your ranks are non pay to win ranks. That is very important inside Minecraft. Um, so keep in mind that when you're playing. Um, let's see what else we have around here. I think this is pretty much it for spawn. I wonder if we go back to spawn if we go through this portal or do we go to the nether? That's a good question to ask. We actually go to the nether. So personally, what I would do there is make sure that doesn't take you to the nether unless you want it to take you to the nether. And another thing is, is I would also get rid of the messages in chat when you go places. Um, so like get rid of the default achievements and stuff. Uh, how am I already dying? One thing I did notice, you guys can't hear this, but I don't have any death sounds. So something on your server is removing the sounds for death. Um, I'm guessing that's whatever your version is. So uh, make sure to look into that because I don't hear myself burning at all. Um, so I'm wondering if I could get back to spawn somehow. I don't know if it's going to be an easy way back to spawn, but I'll do slash. How am I dying? I didn't. Okay, your death uh, messages are also not working. Death.attack.hotfloor. So clearly I died from something that didn't exist. Um, so I would look into that, and I would also give players full food while they're at spawn and reset their food back to what it was when you leave spawn. That's something I would always recommend doing. But overall, it seems like you have your just typical type of server. Um, I'm guessing warp help is the same as the room we were down in earlier. So what I would do is I would just keep working on it, do some of those quality of life changes. Oh, this is actually a tutorial. Wait a minute. Do slack spawn rules or slash rules you can claim lands this is a great idea only thing i would say is get rid of those blank spaces by using uh this type of thing it's just uh the placeholder for empty and it's just a blank line i would recommend doing that uh you can't read the top of that thing because it's inside the light same with that one so i would just make a few quality of life changes uh to make sure this works properly and everything but overall it seems like you still have a pretty cool server here so keep up the good work with that and um Hopefully you have more success with it in the future. Maybe put a, spawn, a portal back to spawn here. Get some more players on. Stuff like that would be very much a good idea. Also, I keep gaining money from being online. So what I would do is make a message every time you gain money. Just so players know they're gaining money for being online. It may help your player retention. Anyway, great job not taking damage on your spawn area and all of that good stuff. So keep up the good work. And hopefully you have great success with your server in the future. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, everyone, while I be chased by creepers and, like, everything else around this world, and then I'm going to die. Oh my god, there's so many mobs.